Today, I'll be rearranging and adding some items to my home network setup. Before we begin, let's go over the current setup and what equipment I'm using. Our modem is a modem router combo Air Surfboard SBG6700AC. It's really nothing special, it supports a gigabit ethernet, but my internet has only 100 megabits per second. It runs pretty hot and etc, but the main thing is that it has a router built in. Speaking of, our router is a fairly basic one from Belkin. How my internet is placed is that the modem and router are right at the corner of my house. So reception on the opposite areas is pretty bad, and some signal is being wasted outside. So, to remedy this issue, I initially just moved all the equipment to a more central location, but of course, the devices that were originally closer to the router suffered in connection. So, since I technically have two routers to work with, I would use the main modem router, pass through a wire to a switch for the computers in my room, and I would use the Belkin router as an extender of sorts. There's a fire stick in another room that only supports 2.4 GHz networks, so having a router closer should help with a lot of connectivity issues, such as using Bluetooth devices, which affect connection on my fire stick. So, with a reasonably feasible idea in my head, it was time to put it all together. I made some CAT6 Ethernet cables with a decent length in my computer's class, and another for another device. Now let's take a look at the switches. I bought two QD GS1050 5 port switches. They support up to a gigabit of transfer speeds, so in theory all my devices should be able to get 100 megabits per second at the same time, but I'll test that later. These switches aren't anything special realistically. I paid about $25 for both of them, so that should give you an idea of the quality, but for my use, they should be perfect. Here's a quick rundown of how it'll work. The modem router combo will have a cable going to a switch, which has another cable connected going to another switch from my room, and the other part of the modem will be dedicated to the other router, which will be placed to the farther end of the house. Here's some before speeds in different locations. In the living area, far away from the router, the 2.4 GHz performance is pretty rough, and 5 GHz is good if you're lucky. Not all the devices farther from the router are 5 GHz supported, so the closer the networking stuff can be to the more needy devices, the better. Everything else is normal, Wi-Fi, and wired. Setup is pretty easy. Hooks up the modem router combo to a coaxial splitter from the wall and power, plugging in the switches to power and connecting the RJ45 cables respectively, but the router was at first a bit questionable. I ended up just taping it to the wall temporarily and I used an extension cord to power it. After setting everything up, it was time to see if my idea actually worked. The switches worked and my computers have internet from the Ares modem router. I tried this before and the Belkin router provides internet as well. To see if multiple devices could use roughly 100 megabits per second at the same time, I ran a speed test on two PCs. Most of the time, they got consistently high results, so there shouldn't be any speed loss. 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi speeds are also a bit more tolerable in the locations devices were struggling. I even got a max download speed of 120 megabits per second on Wi-Fi, which was interesting. My upload speeds are still pretty rough though, and I don't know why, so if you have any input on that, please let me know. But, if you have an old router that you're not using, it could totally work as an extender. I don't think having two routers just merges the SSID and such, making it a sort of mesh network. It did seem to behave like that, but I digress. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comments section, and I'll do my best to get back to you. If you did enjoy the video, hit that like button, but if not, you know where to go. While you're there, consider subscribing to the channel, and enable notifications for more quality tech videos. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.